There is a growing sentiment among people that animals shouldn't be kept in zoos. Apparently some animals share the same sentiment and don't really like to be locked up. So what do they do? Well that would be escape of course. Today we're going to be talking about 15 stories of animals escaping from zoos. Stay tuned till the end to find out how more than 100 monkeys were able to escape in one massive breakout. Our first entry is the booty call. For the majority of this video, we'll be talking about animals that broke out of zoos, so I figured I'd start with an animal that broke into a zoo. In 2013, a wild tiger happily came out of the forest and into the grounds of India's Nandankanan Zoo. Thinking that the tiger had up to try and get it on with the zoo's captive female, zookeepers took a chance and threw open the door to the enclosure, which the wild tiger walked into and promptly made himself right at home. For the next several weeks, the tiger seemed happy to eat, nap, pace, and of course, mate with the local tigress. Then as nonchalantly as he arrived, he then escaped, scaling a two-story security wall in order to make his escape. To this day, the tiger remains at large. Our next entry is the Great Penguin Escape. In 2012, a Humboldt penguin only referred to as Penguin 337 managed to scale a wall and squeeze through a hole in the fence at the Tokyo Sea Life Park. It then remained at large in Japan's capital city for nearly two months before it was recovered. Perhaps most surprisingly, 337 was able to survive in the city relatively unscathed. When he was spotted and recovered, a spokesman for the Tokyo Sea Life Park said the penguin was in good health and had even managed to hunt successfully, maintaining its weight throughout the entire ordeal. Granted though, this is Japan. Fish actually thrive in their drainage system, so it's not surprising that 337 found a lot to eat. Our next entry is trending on Twitter. What is the best way to gain 160,000 Twitter followers in an instant? Well, if you're an animal locked up in a zoo, it seems escaping would be the best way to go about it. For a period of six days in 2011, an Egyptian cobra from the Bronx Zoo slithered out from its confines and sparked a citywide manhunt. Of course, the reptiles keepers insisted the cobra couldn't have gone far the entire time it was on the run. As it turns out, they were right, as it was found just a few hundred feet from her enclosure, safe and sound. Quite unexpectedly, the escape was big news among New Yorkers. One social network savvy individual even put up a Twitter account for the escaped serpent that gained 160,000 followers in simply a few days. Granted, it is pretty amusing to follow a snake on the lamb whose Twitter profile begins with the words, I want to thank those animals from the movie Madagascar. They were a real inspiration. Our next entry is doing the impossible. Wolves don't climb trees. That's a fact of life. They simply aren't built for it. However, when one is forced into a situation that it doesn't want to be in, anything is possible. In 1979, the Los Angeles Zoo managed to lose a half-grown wolf pup named Virginia, who escaped three times before ultimately disappearing into the wilderness. In spite of the commonly held belief that wolves can't climb trees, Virginia the timber wolf did exactly that. By shimmying up a tree trunk and then walking out onto a thick tree branch, Virginia was able to span the gap between her enclosure and freedom. She was also never recaptured. The next entry is Clipped Wings? Let's hitch a ride. Parrots are very smart birds, probably the smartest of them all if it weren't for crows. They may play second to crows when it comes to brainness, but they still have enough smarts to get out of certain predicaments. Kind of like the zoo that they're being imprisoned in, and doing so without the use of their wings. In 2009, a macaw named Chuva managed to slip out of his enclosure and smuggle himself into an RV. All this without the ability to fly. The macaws escape baffled zookeepers until a family from British Columbia found the bird huddled near the engine of their recreational vehicle. Royal Canadian Mounted Police said the family was extremely surprised. Fortunately though, Chuva was hungry and thirsty, and she was still in relatively good shape after her surprising escape. Our next entry is 14 Years on the Lamb. It's fair to say that life on the lamb agrees with Flamingo number 492. The famous African flamingo has been a fugitive for an impressive 15 years. It had been 15 years since it and another flamingo took advantage of strong storm winds and busted out of Sedgwick County Zoo in Wichita, Kansas on June 27, 2005. The lanky bird and its co-conspirator, who both arrived at the zoo as adults, managed to escape their enclosure before keepers had a chance to clip their flight feathers. Sadly, it's presumed that the escapees were separated in the storm. Named for the number on its yellow leg band, number 492 was at the zoo for such a short period of time that keepers didn't even get a chance to determine its sex, only deepening the exotic bird's mystique. What they do know is that the 5 foot tall pink flamingo is approximately 25 years old and capable of living 50 years or more in the wild. Our next entry is Harry Houdini. 
Ken Allen, an orangutan living in the San Diego Zoo in 1985, kept escaping from his enclosure. The first time, he just walked around the zoo looking at animals, and the second time he tried to hurl rocks at another orangutan that he disliked. The zoo had to hire professional rock climbers to figure out how Ken Allen kept escaping. Once they knew how he was doing it, they had to spend $40,000 to change his enclosure and keep him from wandering free and wreaking havoc. Our next entry is Panda on the Run. When Rusty the Red Panda was just 11 months old, he was welcomed to the National Zoo in Washington, D.C. One night, after a heavy rain weighed down the trees in his enclosure, he was able to escape. Rusty remained on the loose for only a couple of days, and he was found when someone posted a sighting of the Red Panda with a passion for rule-breaking on Twitter. Surprisingly, he had only traveled one mile after his great escape. Our next entry is the Daring Thunderstorm Escape. Early in the morning on June 1, 2018, several animals, including two lions, two tigers, a bear, and a jaguar, were reported to have escaped from the Eiffel Zoo in Germany. The mass breakout happened during a pretty intense thunderstorm, which caused flooding in the animal enclosures, or so the zookeepers thought. The entire thing caused so much panic that authorities had to tell citizens to stay indoors and lock their doors. Using a drone, authorities were able to locate all of the animals, most of which were actually still safely contained in the zoo. Employees originally were unable to find the animals in their enclosures due to the massive amount of flooding. The only animal to actually escape was the bear, and officials shot him after spotting him on one of the zoo's public paths. Unfortunately, the bear did die. Our next entry is Llama's Day Out. One sunny Friday afternoon in 2015, a pair of llamas escaped a show-and-tell session in a local school and then proceeded to lead pursuers on a merry two-hour chase through the crowded afternoon streets of Sun City, Arizona. The two escapees, who belonged to a rancher but were routinely brought places as therapy llamas, set off a social media storm when their escape was caught via helicopter, kind of like a high-speed police pursuit. Just a lot slower, and involving two llamas. A gaggle of keepers, police officers, animal control professionals, and even a few random passerbys got in on the action, attempting to capture both llamas as they darted through traffic and ran amok through the city. Our next entry is Danger from the Sky. In 1965, a royal eagle named Goldie managed to escape from London Zoo. During the 12-day escape, the bird became somewhat of a national celebrity. After numerous capture attempts, a zookeeper managed to successfully catch the bird by luring it in with a dead rabbit attached to a rope. Once Goldie appeared, the zookeeper approached the bird gently, and they caught it with his bare hands. Royal Eagles are ferocious hunters, so it was a pleasant surprise to find out that Goldie only attacked three animals during his time on the lamb. Those being a duck and two terriers. Goldie escaped for a second time, but this time only managed to stay out for four days. Our next entry is Gorilla on the Loose. In 2016, a gorilla named Kumbuka managed to escape its London enclosure from London Zoo. It wasn't difficult for him as the enclosure had in fact been left open. Zoo visitors were immediately sent to safety, and it only took 30 minutes for employees to tranquilize the animal and return it to its enclosure. Thankfully, nobody was injured as the gorilla remained inside the reserved area for staff. The only apparent loss was 5 liters of black currant juice that the gorilla managed to gulp down while on the run. It seems he had more of a sweet tooth than a violent nature. Our next entry is Lock Breaking Monkeys. Capuchin monkeys in the wild have been observed using stones as tools to make their lives a little easier, like in cracking open stubbornly hard nuts. But a group of monkeys held captive at a zoo in Brazil discovered that rocks are handy in other situations as well. Staff at the facility were surprised, and no doubt a bit impressed, to find the eight capuchins under their care had all escaped the enclosure by using stones to smash open the lock, keeping them in before disappearing into the jungle beyond. Only four of the actual monkeys were recaptured. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Today's pick is a very dangerous animal. So dangerous that you would think zoos would take extra precautions so that they wouldn't escape. Unfortunately, a number of these bees have managed to escape over the years to different outcomes. What animal am I talking about? Well, let's find out next with Escaped Lion Comes Home. In 1997, heavy rains damaged the lion enclosures at Jungle Land, a seven-acre zoo in Kissimmee, Florida. While workers attempted to fix the cage, a two-and-a-half-year-old lioness named Nala made a run for it, and evaded capture for nearly two days. Like an escaped house cat, however, keepers at Jungle Land reported that Nala, who had been raised in captivity, tried to return to her cage on at least one occasion after escaping. Unfortunately, though, the frightened lion would flee before workers could get close enough to help her. 
Nala was finally caught when she was spotted by a search helicopter, which led keepers to Nala's location. She was immediately tranquilized and led safely back to Jungle Land. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Our final entry is Mass Monkey Breakout. This story happened so long ago that there are conflicting accounts as to what actually happened, but the basic facts go something like this. This was led by a rhesus monkey named Capone. More than 150 rhesus monkeys, or 175 according to some reports, escaped a Long Island Zoo for several days in 1935. Most of the reports say that the monkey's keeper was going about his normal cleaning duties when the monkeys made their move. He placed a board across the moat that spanned the rhesus monkey's island and went to work. Meanwhile, the enterprising rhesus monkey simply walked across the board to freedom. Other newspapers at the time reported differently. They said that the keeper was attacked by the monkeys prior to escaping, and also maybe they just wanted to sell more newspapers like that. Ultimately, the zoo offered locals a free season pass to anyone who could return the missing monkeys to their home. It is unclear if all were returned, though. Which daring escape did you like the most? Let us know down below in the comments. Make sure to also check out the channel's other amazing videos. As always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody!